So I have been relishing in the um, non-drug taking period that I have been in, but now that has come to an end. So I will be taking my second um, AI. So aromatase inhibitor basically with my type of cancer will stop or limit my body from um, producing estrogen so that it, for me in my particular case, since I'm already finished with chemo, and surgery will help to keep me cancer free or another um, occurrence. So um, I am supposed to be taking this for five or 10 years. Uh, 10 years is what I currently have heard from Dr. Valak, but you never know. There's new things that happen every day in this field and we learn more and we know more. 10 years sounds like a really long time to take this little pill. Um, so we'll see. So I'm gonna try um, this and it's teeny tiny um, and you wouldn't think this little teeny tiny yellow pill could cause so many problems but um, an astrazole for me was a nightmare so it's a little bitty teeny tiny pill um, taken once a day and for me I ended up as you guys know I think I went through the whole myriad of things that I had done for my back pain and it was still very persistent. So I took a leave. Um, we really looked at the bone scan. I mean, we did all of these things and it really came down to the, um, an astrozole was causing a lot of joint and back pain to where it was debilita debilitating for me. And in my particular case, um, I like to get up and move. So if it's going to stop um, what I'm doing in my everyday life, then we have to really adjust. It is a non-negotiable for me not to be able to move. So. We are going to try this um, and see. It does indicate that it causes drowsiness, so I'm going to take it the same time every single night before going to bed and see how that works. Um, the next level, I guess, then is there's one more um, aromatase inhibitor that is um, often given. Um, so there's three in the class because I am postmenopausal. And then there is a shot in the ass, so um, once a month. So I don't know, you know, I guess um, you get to this point and I guess I just have a lot of confidence that my medical team is going to figure this out. We're gonna come up with something that's gonna work best. So I'm not really stressed out about it. I'm not worried about it. If this doesn't work, then we'll just go to the next one and we'll figure it out as we go along. So anyway, um, new meds, I have been pain free. I've been just loving no back pain. Um, and so hopefully that's going to continue. I can deal with a little drowsiness, but back pain was um, not something that was so great. So anyway, whatever you guys are doing today, thanks for watching and have a great day.